So Android Authority has just published an interesting article about the new Tensor G4 processor, that's Google's new processor, that we expect to see in the upcoming new Pixel phones. Now, all the details are revealed, and I want to cover those details here in this video. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. Okay then, so let's dive into these new details that we now have about the Google Tensor G4 Generation 4, which is the processor for the Pixel 9. Now, what is a Google Tensor? Google Tensor, in this context, is a series of ARM 64-based system-on-a-chip processors designed by Google in collaboration with Samsung for its Pixel smartphone. So 64-bit ARM chips designed by Google uh, with the help of Samsung. Of course, Samsung has its own foundry and lots of experience in designing uh, processors. Now, the first generation Tensor processor debuted in the Pixel 6 smartphone back in 2021. It used two Cortex-X1 CPU cores, which was very rare at the time, then two Cortex-A76 cores, and then four Cortex-A55 cores, and the GPU was the Mali G78 MP20. And the big thing that Google have made about the Google Tensor is it includes its own custom TPU Tensor Processing Unit that's really a, an NPU, a neural processing unit, which allows Google to do lots of machine learning stuff on device. Doesn't need to go up into the cloud. And then Google carried on with this same uh, design, really, in the Tensor G2, came out the following year. Very similar to the Tensor G1, except for those Cortex-A76 cores were upgraded to Cortex-A78. And then there was a, an upgrade in the GPU and the TPU, the Tensor Processing Unit, became the second generation. So really a minor upgrade from the G1 to the G2. Very much looks the same from both a hardware and a software point of view. Then the Tensor G3 was the kind of the big breakaway from those previous two designs. This came out in 2023 for the Pixel 8 series of chips. It was the first ARM V9 processor from Google. It used nine cores, which was very unusual at the time. Still is a bit unusual, really. So it was one Cortex-X3 and then nine cores because it was then four Cortex-A715s and then four cortex a 510, so you get 1 plus 4 plus 4, giving you 9 in total. And then the Armali G715 uh, MC7. It, of course, still maintained this uh, TPU, this uh, special IP uh, from Google itself, now on the third generation called Rio. And now we get on to the G4, where we are now. Now, this fourth generation Tensor chip is anticipated to be launched this month now, August 2024, when we see the launch of the Pixel 9 series. It's a little earlier than if Google have done it in previous years. So it, we were expecting it later on in the year, sometimes October. But now we're getting it, it seems to be in August with the Tensor G4. Now there's been lots and lots of leaks about the Pixel 9 series, but details about the Tensor G4 have remained quite elusive until now. So we know it's ARM V9.2. We know it's going to have a Cortex-X4 core. So that's an upgrade from the Cortex-X3 core that we saw in the Tensor G3. And then core three Cortex-A720. So not four of them now. So back to three. This is an octa-core setup. And then four Cortex-A520s. The same Mali G715 uh, GPU. But it looks as if it's going to be clocked slightly higher and then the same TPU the Rio TPU so really not much of a change here just a little bump on the CPUs same GPU same TPU so very much a similar chip just some upgrades uh, along the way and the current testing seems to be that's going to give you about an 11% improvement in single core score and just a 3% improvement in multi core score compared to the Tensor G3, the best results for the Tensor G3. Why only 3% for multi-core? Because we've gone down from 9-core now to 8-core. So the bump in the different pro, uh, CPU cores there bring each of them their own single-threaded uh, increase. But then that's not enough to make up for a whole core that's now uh, missing. So just slightly faster on, on multi-core, but 
11% better on a uh, single core. And the other big bit of news is that it's coming with a different modem, Samsung modem. As I said, this is built really in collaboration with Samsung. Now it's the Exynos uh, 5400, 5400 modem, which mainly the main point here is it does offer better power consumption than the previous one, the 5300. Now, one interesting aspect of this is that really the Tensor G4 is not the chip that Google were aiming for. It was aiming for a very different type of chip that it didn't rely so heavily on Samsung or that collaboration with Samsung. It was something it was doing more on its own. Now, the details of that chip really aren't known at all, but it was going to be radically different than this pattern that we've seen, this template that we've seen with the G1, the G2, the G3 and, and so on. Unfortunately, Google didn't make its internal deadlines. Now, these chip designs take two, sometimes even three years. So this decision was made back in 2023, probably, because at some point they realized they weren't going to be ready in time for all the manufacturing that has to happen, then all the devices need to be built, they need to be ready to start shipping out. So that's a long process. You have to think, plan ahead. They miss an internal deadline. They're not going to make it. So their next best thing to do was to build another chip in collaboration with Samsung and really just to upgrade the G3 into the G4, tweak a bit here, tweak a bit there. They did that with the G1 and the G2. This is the same now with the G3 and the G4. That does mean that there is another chip coming from Google if they stick to those plans that's gonna be quite different to this, maybe the G5. But for now, the G4 is an intended minimal upgrade to the G3. In fact, it's called the Zuma Pro as opposed to the Zuma which was what the code name for the G3 was. So what does this mean? Well, ignoring the fact that they, the G5 could be a different chip and what Google's plans are for that, it means that any features that are Pixel 9 only, so they, Google say only on the Pixel 9, you can't get this on any other chip, that's really a decision that Google are making. It's an artificial lock-in because it, there's no special hardware in the G4 that you need that wasn't in the G3. I mean, the GPU is the same, the TPU is the same, bit faster on the CPU. It, it, there's nothing really you can lock out a feature because of the G4. So they're purely artificial locks if they exist. However, we must note that the Pixel 9 will come with a minimum of 12 gigabytes, even 16 gigabytes for the bigger models. And that will be important for any large language models like the Gemini Nano or any other stuff that Google want to run that re requires more RAM. Now, previous... Uh, Pixel phones didn't necessarily come with so much RAM and that is a limiting factor uh, when you want to run these large language models. So that could be one valid reason to say that this particular feature only works on the Pixel 9 because it's a RAM issue. Okay, that's it. My name is Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I'd love to hear your thoughts about the Tensor G4. Does it matter? I do read quite a lot in the comments. People say, well, processors are so fast nowadays, it doesn't really matter. It's good enough. It will you know, do the job it's meant to do. Do you think that the, the Google Tensor, the TPU, is a vital part of the smartphone experience in terms of photography, LLMs, and all the other stuff that we do with machine learning? love to hear your thoughts will you get the new pixel do let me know in the comments below okay that's it if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up and if you like these kind of videos then stick around subscribe to the channel okay that's it i'll see you in the next one